today's agenda, at the end of the lesson, learners are expected to use simple verbs, past, present, future, and sentences. Before we proceed to our lesson, let's have our review. What are the be verbs that we discussed last week? We have is, was, where, are, and am. So now let's have an exercise. Fill in the blanks with the form of be verb from the pool of words below. Number 1. Tita Jackie blank a midwife. Number 2. She blank assigned in a remote barrio 6 months ago. Number three, I blank enjoying my work. Number four, there are blank many animals in the farm. And number five, Sam and Nico blank the winners in contest last event. Now, let's check your answers. Number 1, is. Number 2, was. Number 3, am. Number 4, are. And number 5, where. Complete the sentences using verbs in the stars. Number 1, the cats blank when the dogs run after them. Number 2, teachers blank pupils to read and write. Number three, the dog blank at strangers. Number four, bakers blank bread and pies. And number five, doctors blank sick patients in the hospital or in the clinic. Now, let's check your answers. Number one, meow. Number two, teach. Number three, bark. Number four, bake and number five treat now let's have our lesson for today the role of the simple tenses the simple past tense verb in the past tense tells about actions that already happened in the past when you talk of things that happened in the past you add d or ed to most of the verbs you use Verbs that form their past form by adding D or ED are called regular verbs. The spelling of some verbs changes when ED is added. The following rules will help you. Regular verbs of one syllable that end in a consonant with a vowel before it Form their past tense by doubling the consonant before adding ed. Examples, rub, rubbed, step, stepped. Number two, regular verbs that end in e form their past tense by adding b. Examples, love, loved, race, raced. Regular verbs that end in Y with a consonant before it form their past tense by changing Y to I, then adding ED. We have cry, cried, dry, dried. Regular verbs that end in Y with a vowel before it form their past tense by just adding ED. Examples, play, played, stay, stayed. Some words change their spelling when they form the past tense. 
these words are called irregular verbs. Examples, see, examples, so, see, sing, sang. Few verbs have the same form in either the present tense or past tense. Examples, set, set. We also have put and put. We use time expressions in the past tense when we talk about things or actions that happened in the past. So here are some examples. We have yesterday, last week, last night, last year, last month, and long ago. So now let's study the sentences. Notice the underlined verb. The children played in school yesterday. So the underlined word is played. And yesterday is the time expression that was used in the sentence to know that it is already in the past tense. Next is, mother wrote a letter to my uncle last month. And the underlined word is wrote which is already in the past form. And last month, is the time expression that was used in the sentence. The bus stopped a few minutes ago. And the underlined word is stopped. And the time expression that we use is a few minutes ago. Which means that the sentence is in the past form. And now let's have the simple present tense. The simple present tense of the verbs shows action that happens regularly or habitually. It is used with singular and plural noun. It is used with singular and plural pronoun I, he, she, it, we, you, and they. So here are some examples of time expressions that show habitual action. We have in the morning, during holidays, every day, every other day, twice a year, and once a month. Now let's observe the sentences in column A and column B. In column A, we have number one, the dog runs. Number two, father goes to work every day number three mother bakes a cake every saturday while in column b number one the dogs run number two father and i go to work every day number three lorna and her sister bake a cake every saturday now let's analyze the sentences in column a and in column b the verbs in set A and in S. The subject is singular. In set B, the verbs are in the simple form. They don't end in S because the subject is plural. Now let's have the simple future tense. The simple future tense is a verb tense that is used to talk about things that haven't happened yet but expected to happen in the future. To form the future tense, we generally use the helping verb will or shall. Now let's have some activity. Activity 1. Choose the correct one. Identify the correct form of the verb. Number 1. Mother wake, wakes up early every morning. Number 2. She cook, cooks breakfast for all of us. Number three, I help 
helps mother prepare sandwiches for our snacks in school. Number four, father take, takes his bath early every day. And number five, my friends live lives near the school. Now let's check your answers. Number one, wake. Number two, cooks. Number three, help. Number four, takes. And number five, leave. Good job, kids! Now let's have another activity. Give the correct past form of the verb. Number one, Leonard blank for his father to come yesterday. So the verb is wait. Now, let's check your answer. And the correct answer is waited. Very good. Number two, the teacher blank our parents to school last Monday. And the verb is call. And the correct answer is cold. Number three, our parents blank clean the school before the school opened. The verb is help. Now let's check what's the correct answer. And the correct answer is helped. Number four, the janitor blanked the wall last Friday. And the verb is scrub. Let's check your answer. And the answer is scrubbed. And number five, we blank our garden plots for planting. And the verb is prepare. And the answer is prepared. Now let's have another activity. Directions. Identify the correct form of the verb in the parenthesis. Number one, Sheila cleans, will clean, cleaned her room tomorrow. And the answer is, will clean. Number two, they act, will act, act in the play next week. And the answer is, we'll act. Sophia will go, went, goes to the province next month. And the answer is, we'll go. Number four, our team played, will play, plays basketball on Thursday. And the answer is, we'll play. And number five, I will do, did, do my best to get high grades next grading period. And the correct answer is, we'll do. Remember, a verb is a word used to indicate an action. Verb has three simple tenses. It covers the simple past tense, the simple present tense, and the simple future tense. The simple past tense. Verb in the past tense tells about actions that already happened in the past. The simple present tense show action that happens regularly or habitually. And the simple future tense is a verb tense that's used to talk about things that haven't done before. Now, let's read a short story and answer the questions below. My soldier, my hero. Mr. Joseph de la Cruz is a soldier who lives in San Miguel Tarlac with his wife, Lorna. He is known for being a responsible, supportive husband to his wife and a great provider to his children. 
though he has to sacrifice because of his sworn duty as a soldier, he still tries his best to have quality time for his family. Indeed, he is considered a hero and always demonstrates selfless patriotism in his ways and work. Now let's answer the following questions based on the story. Number 1. What is the occupation of Mr. Joseph de la Cruz? Number 2. Where do they live? Number 3. What are the verbs used in the story? Number 4. What kind of verbs can you find in the story? Number 5. Why is Joseph considered a hero? And number 6. What type of father is Joseph in the story? Directions Choose the verb form in the parentheses that matches the underlined verb tense after the sentence. Number 1. We will wake, walk up early. Number 2. Mother will prepare prepared breakfast. Number 3. Jerry misses missed his class. Number 4. We hurry, hurried to school. Number five, my sister works, worked in the office. Number six, the children will go, went home together. Number seven, we will meet, met Anna on the way. Number eight, Edgar will try, tried the new flashlight. Number nine, Marie marks marked the trail last week and number 10 carlos moves moved the dishes to the tent that's all for today kids remember learning is fun goodbye